Um, hey, so today I wanted to talk about my first year practical projects at my university. I'm studying fashion photography in London at the University of the Arts at London College of Fashion. So I kind of wanted to like summarize what kind of project we've done and maybe you can see the progress if there was any progress like from the beginning till the end of the year. And I also want to show you um, kind of the work which I was doing before university because I think it was like really different because I wasn't doing any like conceptual art. I was doing mainly like commercial stuff. I was doing a lot of portraits. I was shooting for model agencies. I, sh I was shooting also for a few brands. Some of them paid me with money. Some of them paid me with products. Some of them didn't pay me anything. So that was like a really rough start. And yeah, I think that was like pretty much it. But I definitely wasn't doing anything conceptual. And I feel like when I got to uni, that my aesthetics kind of like changed but I definitely had uh, a female gaze uh, from the beginning I can see that because I remember that I don't know I just like never understood these pictures when where like girls were like you know kind of looking like sexy and everything I was just never fan of that I also wanted to say that I was probably into fashion photography like from the very beginning and I think that was because I was um, working as a model and I was always surrounded by creatives who were like producing fashion content so I think that's why I kind of like just got inspired and then when I bought my first camera I was just primarily shooting models around me because I was like you know when I was traveling and they were like uh, yeah, and just uh, all, all the girls in my apartment, there were models, so it just allowed me to take really good portraits and I think that that's what made me feel excited about all this because probably the first picture I took were just really nice just because there were like, you know, beautiful girls in there but I, I felt like, wow, this is cool and I can really take this further but it's really far from what I'm doing now because now I really do conceptual photography and every single project I do has a concept while when I was uh, when I was doing photography before my university I definitely wasn't doing concepts for anything I was just like kind of okay get a location uh, get outfits and beer shooting and you know I just was really focusing on angles and like making people looking pretty which is which is okay which is really good to have this skill if you're shooting for model agencies but yeah i'm just somewhere else now and that probably wouldn't happen if i didn't go to my university so let's get started uh, so the first project uh, we had uh, was called radical beauty and we had to produce pictures um, challenging the Western st standards of beauty. Uh, I don't even know how, but I was focusing on, on body hair. It just like came across my mind. I don't know how that happened. But I was doing a research, like why we start to, started to shape as a society and stuff around that. And then I just wanted to capture um hairy model and ideally you know someone who is like very very feminine so it kind of breaks the you know the social norm that like if you are feminine you should be shaving so that was the kind of the idea behind so i was looking for someone so there are some kids outside um so that was the idea behind the behind the photo shoot and then i started to search and then i uh found this girl Natalia, she's amazing uh, model, activist, feminist, and just a really nice human being. And uh, she is from Poland, and she was living in Poland at the time. So I just bought her tickets because I really didn't find anyone else who would be suitable. So I just got her tickets to London, and she flew over to shoot this editorial with me. And it was the first time when I was using analog camera, uh, so it was like, I don't know, I don't know how I could be so brave to do it, because I was just like, yeah, like, 
I'm having a model flying over from another country, I'm using like analog camera for the first time and I was just kind of on it, I don't know even how that happened uh, and the pictures turned out really really well and then I submitted uh, these pictures to a few magazines and they responded uh, from FGUK it's a British magazine um, kind of focusing on activism and LGBT communities um, so uh, they uh, they published my editorial and it was like really really first time when I got published and it was like you know my first project which felt really really great and I was really excited and it kind of like pushed me even more to like work harder and just challenge myself and also the same series of pictures I submitted it to an open call uh, in a gallery in Slovakia uh, for an exhibition called Faces of Freedom and I was chosen to join this group exhibition um, which was just really really cool and yeah like I felt really motivated by these um, opportunities which kind of you know came became a real thing it kind of built my confidence a little bit but not too much and yeah so that was the pr first project so that was a big success i feel um and by the way i still like the pictures that's not like i don't i feel a lot of pictures i took last year not necessarily all of them are like kind of my style now but i must say that i still like these pictures and i still like use them maybe i would do a little bit different editing but that's like still pretty pretty cool because i can do it anytime so the second projects we were doing was um, called Better Lives and we were basically swapping ateliers. So I, instead of doing fashion photography unit, I was doing creative direction unit and we had to produce a moving image. Uh, so that was like my first time I was doing a video and it didn't necessarily need to be a video, it could be like GIFs or any kind of animations and we could uh, work in teams or we could work individually so I just team up with one makeup artist, Hamy, who helped me with doing a makeup and we had to produce uh, like a series of pictures, not pictures, but like a moving image uh, or a video on the topic of either sustainability, social responsibility of diversity and it had to be for a brand like a mock-up mock-up campaign kind of thing and i did it for naja which is a underwear brand and you know they're a really great brand they really support like women and empower women and they are really into like diversity and social responsibility but their aesthetics is not necessarily my taste uh, yeah i was kind of like struggling how to do it and also um, you know I wanted to focus on diversity, so I wanted to bring a lot of models like of different bodies and shapes um, and it's really not easy to find like, girls who are just, you know, like able to uh, go like undressed in front of the camera or just like be in their underwear, you know, so I, f I found that like really really difficult but then I just used my friends, I mean like you know, at like, our university, there are so many like students who are just super diverse and they are nice and they they understand that you need help, that you need models and stuff like that. And it was it was a really fun shoot, I think, because you were kind of you know friends. It's also a different atmosphere when you don't have uh, models from agencies, but when you just get your friends. So they were just like covered with a white sheet, and then I did just a few gifts and. Also stills just for my portfolio and I don't actually, I've, I think I've never published these pictures or maybe I did just like for Insta stories or something because I was still kind of waiting that I'm just gonna you know somehow make like some project about it but then I feel like that nowadays a lot of brands are doing exactly the same thing that they just bring a lot of diverse models and like shoot them and like hey this is our campaign it's about diversity which is like of course really really important but then I feel like I just it would be really repetitive so yeah I'm just having these pictures uh, on my hard drive and probably should do something about them 
Um, yeah, but anyways, that was the that was the second project, and then the third project we did was a collaborative project. Uh, so we had to create a fashion editorial, uh, and we could choose a topic. And I chose to produce an editorial about di- not diversity, about sustainability. So then we were team up with other people who wanted to create an editorial about sustainability and I must say that was really really challenging because like I I'm not really experienced working within a team if I have to be equal to everyone because I usually come with a project and then I find the team and I find the people who are really really excited as I am or like you know people who I know it's easy to work with and I feel that my group isn't really engaged and you know that's totally cool it's just um yeah i was just somewhere else and i really wasn't like listening or i wasn't really like aware of where the rest of the team is and if i knew you know if i if we chat and i just really wanted to create something amazing and they were like kind of cool we can like you know it's a university project it's like it's not our life and i was just you know closing eyes before this And I feel if someone just is not as excited about something as I am, then it's totally fine. And I was kind of, you know, pushing them too much. And I felt like I'm just bringing so much into the team because I was like dealing with models and I had like some fashion designers who we could collaborate with. But then, yeah, they just weren't that excited. And I feel that's totally fine. And I was kind of bitchy about it that I was like, guys, like we should do something more, you know, it, I could just like, I don't know, chill down maybe and, you know, just give it a little bit like less of my effort and just be nice to people and always be kind of, you know, I wish I was like more professional. I should just like step back and be relaxed. So yeah, I found this like really, really challenging. But anyways, the project which which we did was uh, was inspired by extension rebellion which was happening at oxford circus which was like literally in front of our school um yeah so we were just kind of creating this like non-violent editorial just like you know people like coming together and like people coming together in order to create a change uh about uh, the environmental crisis so that was the idea you can see the pictures here um yeah and finally the pictures turned out really really well i was like really surprised like it was actually really cool shoot everyone did a great job and yeah i was just kind of underestimating my team and i was um yeah i was a little bit ashamed about it after all um but yeah so these are the images i think it went really really well and again everyone did a great job um yeah so that was like all the projects we were assigned to do uh, from the university. But then I did a few other projects, uh, like some other editorials, which I'm not going to describe in depth. But you can maybe have a like, you can have a look what uh, I was doing in my free time. I was doing a lot of testing. I was doing some other editorials. And then over the summer, I did another editorial. And yeah, I think that's just everything, uh, everything what I wanted to say. Uh, let me know how do you like it, let me know if this is like enough for a first year student or if, uh, if you expected we would be doing something else on this course and just let me know what you think. And you can follow me on Instagram or you can check out my website or you can, I don't know. You can say me hi. (laughs) Okay, bye.